And here in Southern California, middle school students in Norwalk got a chance to watch the partial solar eclipse in real time. NBC 4's Gordon Tokumatsu is live at Corvallis Middle School. Gordon. Well, Annabelle, how do you teach a 12-year-old about the wonders of the solar system? Well, the folks here at Carvalis Middle School did it with these cool glasses and, of course, the greatest teacher of all, that partial eclipse. At this age, kids tend to have a lot of things on their minds besides astronomy. Is there a test coming up? What should I wear to class? What's for lunch? But today, do you have a big interest in science? Not really. <laughs> Does this change that? Um, yeah. At least for a little while. I think it's pretty cool. Corvallis middle schoolers in Norwalk could gather outside with millions of their fellow Americans, don their extra super dark filtered glasses, and gaze up at the sun. The moon is about 400 times smaller and is about 400 times farther. That ratio allows us to experience eclipses. Every other planet in the solar system doesn't have that ratio, so this is a unique thing to Earth. Eclipses are no longer the mysterious, scary things that ancient civilizations interpreted as omens or signs from the gods. They're completely predictable, and the technology to see them with the naked eye comes in a paper frame. Uh, the sun looks like the moon. <laughs> But they're a way for all of us, even 12 or 13 year olds, to share a rare experience, to learn a little about the vastness of space, and at the same time, yearn for more. Like, I'll, one day I could see like a full eclipse. Beyond the gee whiz factor, there's the this doesn't happen all the time factor as well. Science teacher Jim Hug even told his students to think about the next one and how long they'll have to wait to see this again. Well, it's 20 years from now, so they'll be 32, 33, I guess. And that's pretty cool, they told us, in the only way a 13-year-old can. What were you thinking when you saw that eclipse? Dang. <laughs> so now it's time to pack these away for the next one, but don't lose them because 20 years is an awfully long time. Live in uh, Norwalk, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.